Rakatea Hawa, Rakatea Hawa Shay, Rakatea Hawa, Rakatea Hawa Shay, Rakatea Hawa, Rakatea Hawa Shay. First and foremost, you give all praises to Yahawa Basham, Yahawa Shai. The Bologna City Apostles and Elders that rule well, those are the Apostles and Elders of GMS and salutations to the brothers that preach and teach this word in sincerity and in truth. But the Barah here with another lesson. This lesson should be called Give Them Warning. Right? It says Hebrews 11 verse 7 By faith Noah being warned of the Most High of the things not seen as yet moved with fear prepared an ark to the saving of his house by which he condemned the world and became heir of the righteousness which is by faith right so we, this lesson again as i said was it's a it's, it's a give warning right as the title to give warning so it says by faith nor being a, a righteous man because I pursued it, Sirach chapter 1, <clears throat> verse 14, to fear the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, right? And it was created with the faithful in the womb. So Noah was what, was what? Faithful and in fear in the Lord, right? And he was also wise. This is why he was wise, because he took he took heed of the warning of Yahweh Shemir Oshai, right? And it says what? Um, he was one of Yahweh, of Yahweh, of things not seen, of, of things not seen as, as as yet, and moved because what what wasn't seen at that time, what the rains wasn't so seen, right? Because at that time, what the only water that you saw come upon the earth was what that, that mist that was coming up from the ground, right? The rains only come only came when when the flood came, right? That was the first time the scriptures ever mentioned rain falling from the heavens, right? So it was things not seen. And just as in today, right, we give a warning of the destruction that has, has not come, that the world has never seen, right? This destruction, when, when America is going to be destroyed into a, 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 a lake of fire, right? It's a destruction that the world has never seen, right? The whole entire earth has never seen, right? It says, yet moved with fear, right? It says, what? Fear, the beginning of wisdom is the fear of the Most High, right? So only the men of the Lord, the elect ultimately, and the one. So they're going to wake up and be and fear the Most High power, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai, Basham, Raka, Kodash, right? Because now it's the time to fear Him, right? Now it's this time of repentance where, he, where His spirit is being revived, His energy, His vibration is being revived essence that we have a power a, 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 a fearful power is being revived we're supposed to fear our power not love not nothing that he loves us and works for us if we pay him a, a price right because that's what christianity push pay a pay a tithe pay an offering and you'll be blessed no is obey his commandments and he will show you favor and you may live and he may grant you blessings in due time as you turn me chapter one from verse one goes go to 14 prescribes right the lord doesn't work for us we are his servants we are their servants right it says um it says by which he by which he condemned the world right so like let me go back up yet move with fear prepared and ah to the saving of his house yeah he prepared that physical ark back then now the spiritual ark has been prepared in minds the Bible scripture says rend your heart and not your garments right it's not how you appear to look it's how you how is, is what your mind is where your mind is set if your mind is set in the righteousness of your right that ark that covenant is actually what um yahweh is yahweh you keep it up is the faith in yahweh Right? And in, in keeping his commandments, is doing his work. Right? That is, that is the act. That's the spiritual act being 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 um made right about now. Right? And it's, it's near completion. Because what? The, the, the lack is almost saved. Well, it's not almost sealed, Slakia. Right? If not all sealed already, to the saving of his house. Right, so the so the, the what the house of the house of Israel, the house of righteousness, 
right? The only righteously most I found on the earth at that time was who? Noah, his wife, the three sons and their, and their wives, eight souls, right? That was the saving of the house of righteousness. That was that, that was it right there. And the same thing and this is going to be done this time where Yasharala, the princess of the power, they're going to be saved. They and their wives and their children and their family and the one third, right? It says, to the saving of his house by which he condemned the world. Yeah, because once they're in the spirit of Yahweh and Shemi Shai, they'll be saved and they will not be condemned because the world is going to be condemned. Right? The world is going to be destroyed by two more nuclear fire because they didn't believe. They did not take heed to the warnings of Yahweh and Shemi Shai through what? Through his men. Right? Through his prophets. Because we don't we don't proclaim to be prophets of Baal. We don't proclaim to be the prophets of of, of, of Jesus, right? We don't be, be proclaimed to be prophets of Allah or any other or any other idol. We are the prophets of Yahweh Basham, Yahweh Shai, Basham, Waha Kodash, Raka Kodash, right? And became heir of righteousness, which is by faith. Yeah, we, we could, the heir of righteousness, which is by faith. Yahweh Shai is going to turn our hearts into that fleshy heart and, and take it away from me in that stony heart right where he's going to sow the laws such as and commandments in it that we won't have to go uh, want another teaching the righteousness as we're doing right now via 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 blowing the trumpet on the highways and byways telling our people hey showing them their sins proclaiming their sins because isaiah 58 and 1 said proclaiming among um um Blow the trumpet in Zion and show my people their sins and show Israel their transgressions. We won't have to do that anymore because we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna have righteousness by nature. The most high is gonna sow it into our minds. Right? Yahweh boy show me our shy. So like yeah, Yahweh Shai is gonna put it in our minds, in our in our spirits, right? That we won't go off. Alright? Alright, the next scripture I would like to bring out is um Ezekiel chapter 3 17 It says son of man I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel right therefore hear the words at my mouth and give them warning from me right so warning we went back to the meaning of the word warning right It says what something such as an action or a statement that tells some someone about possible danger or trouble a statement that tells a person that bad or wrong behavior will be punished if it happens again an act of warning a state of being warned he had warning of his illness something that warns or serves to warn especially in a notice or a bulletin that alerts the public to imminent hazards as a tornado or thunderstorm right so hey this is what we this is our purpose to warn this is um trail chapter 2 was one Blow ye the trumpet in, in Zion and sung an alarm in my holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble for the day of the Lord cometh, for it is nigh at hand. So this is the warning. We're blowing the trumpet. Right? The trumpet is the warning. You see the, 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 the prophets on the highways and the byways um, 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 going through this breakdown, going through these lessons on these um, these videos, these epistles. This is the warning. This is the this is the this is the trumpet being blown. This is this is the meaning of the action. This is the meaning of seeing these men on the highways and the byways, and seeing these men flooding the internet. We give you warning that the death, destruction, famine, pestilence is about to happen, and now is the time to repent, to turn back, turn back to who? Turn back to the and the people not be afraid. Shall there be evil in the city, and the Lord has not done it? Surely the Lord power. Will do nothing but he revealed the secrets unto his servants, the prophets, right? So the prophets are that mouthpiece who have the secret, who seen this, who seen the um the the upcoming danger. Who 
go out and they watch who's seen, who's paying out from the tower and seeing the, the incoming danger, right? So we blowing that trumpet and we we, we sung in that alarm. In chapter 14 verse 8, For if the trumpet give an uncertain song, who shall prepare himself for the battle? Right? Hey, you know, this is what one verse. It says, and, and even things without life give song, whether pipe or harp, except they give a distinction in the songs. How shall it be known what is piped or harp? Right? For if the trumpet give an uncertain song, who shall prepare himself to the battle? That we given is a song of warning. Right? It's a warning. Repent, repent, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. John the Baptist gave warning, right? Yahweh Shah is about to return to take the kingdom, right? Those of the elect, you know, look sharp. Do spiritual works and conform, right? The most only these with men of wisdom, right? Get that wisdom while it could be found. Before the net neutrality kicks in, before, well, we, we down here, we have what, um, the anti gang legislation where two, two or more cannot be gathered on the streets. They could be arrested and charged as a farm for being a gang. Alright? So we see any farming of the world coming fast. Right? Um, okay, this one was in the script. I not lift up thy voice like a trumpet and show my people their transgression and the house of Jacob their sins. Right? Yet they seek me daily and delight to know my ways as a nation that did righteousness and forsook not the ordinances of their power. And, right? They ask of me the ordinances of justice. They take delight in approaching to Yahweh. And this is what we should be doing. At this time, this is what we should be doing. Seek any how but shame how shy. Right? Um that would be that would be do if you do that, that would be taken in heed of the warning. Um Second Corinthians chapter 19 verse 10. It says more um and what cause soever shall come to you of your brethren that dwell in their cities between blood and blood. Between law and commandments, statutes and judgments, he shall even warn them that they trespass not against Yahweh Bashmi and Shai. And this is what we're saying. That this place is a whole this whole place is abomination. A, this whole place is a trespass against Yahweh Bashmi and Shai. And you need to turn, you need to take away yourself from the spirit and energy of this place. Beginning with hey, Babylon. Because Babylon pushing this energy over the whole planet, which is this which is America. Right? Get your way yourself from America and its spirit and its vibration. It says, so that wrath come upon come so and so wrath come upon you and upon your brethren. This do this do and ye shall not trespass. Right? So separate yourself. This is the warning. Separate yourself. So that you won't trespass your Bashimi outside and get scooped up with the reward of the wicked. The reward of the wicked is what? Total annihilation by what two nuclear missiles? Famine, pestilence, the sword, or the or the chariots of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Right? That is the reward of the wicked. For those who don't take heed, this is what that, that is what they're gonna get. For those who won't repent, for those who won't won't um, who won't give up that pride and can live, and continue to live um, 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 deliciously on this side. The word of the Lord said what warn to you that that um that receive your, com- your your consolation on this side, right? So all them other Israelite groups that 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 seen prosperity, know that 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 is your destiny, to to be holy reward, to be part and partaker with the reward of the wicked, right? Ezekiel chapter 3 verse 17 again son of man I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel therefore hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from me when thou say unto the wicked thou shalt utterly die right 
and giveth him not warning. And before you even want to go on to verse 18, I want you to bring one more precept, Salakia. This is Hebrews, yeah, because we are the we are the we are the um the prophets of the Lord. We give him that warning. That's our duty to give that warning. To speak that warning. Right? It says Hebrews 1 and 1. The most high who had sundry times in diverse manners spake in times past unto the fathers by the prophets. So this is us. He speak. He's speaking through us, right? He's giving us that utterance through the Holy Spirit because the Holy Spirit gives us that understanding and that belief and that confidence to speak the words that we speak that death and destruction is coming, right? That this kingdom is fallen. The so-called white man, he's being revealed. He's the son of perdition, right? And now that he, that he, hey, that this, the scripture says once the son of perdition has been revealed, then the destruction will come. Then the kingdom will come after. But this kingdom has to fall away first and this is what is happening right before your eyes the kingdom of the so-called white man the, which is the edomite the biblical edomite is falling away right the son of the wicked the son of perdition is the so-called white man he is being revealed right the false prophet the false prophet is who sat in with the roman catholic church come all the way down they are revealed jesus that white that sergio borgia that white image that, that edomite image Right? That is not the son of, of, of the Most High Power. That is not the son of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. His name is not Jesus. His name is Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Right? All these things have been revealed. All this is a manifestation of the time that this kingdom has fallen. Right? It says, He spoke through, the, through what? In times past, to, to the fathers by the prophets. Right? And what did he speak? What did he speak and say? What did the prophet say? This is Exodus 19 and sorry, Exodus um, 19 and 20. Yeah, said 19 and 20. No, it's not 19 and 20. All right, I'll come back to that Exodus. Very remembering. This is um, Ezekiel chapter. Let me go back to this chapter three. Yeah, it says, um, "Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto Israel, unto the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from me." And when I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die, and thou givest him warning, him not warning, Salakia, right? Nor speakest to warn the wicked from his wicked way to save his life. The same wicked man shall die in his iniquity, but his blood will I require at thine hand. Right? So we have so if we don't if we don't give warning. The blood of the wicked is going to be on our hands, so we will, we, we will be we will be destroyed the same way, right? So we, we we have a duty to fulfill. We must we must prophesy against the wicked. We must prophesy against the wicked. We, we must speak unto the wicked, and we must tell the two thirds of our people of their wickedness to let them know that it will be justified in when the judgment comes, right? You can't say it never been warned. Right? This is um Ezekiel chapter 33. Ezekiel chapter 33, verse 4. Then whosoever heareth the sound of the trumpet and take it not warning, if the sword come and take him away, his blood shall be upon his own head. So now we by us the justification, the justification comes by us saying now, or the prophet saying now. Repent, repent, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Turn from your wicked ways. So when we say unto you now that you are doing wickedly, stop having sex with your, with, with your brother's girlfriend or your brother's wife. That, that is adultery, you know? Stop committing murder, abortions. Stop, st stop the spiritual fornications, going after these other idols, such as Bajay, Allah, Shiva Ganesh, whatever, whoever, whatever, right? 
when you do that when we do that the, your blood is upon your own head because you refuse to hearken unto the voice of the trumpet you refuse to take warning of the men of the lord right because you don't come because we don't come in our own office you don't come in our own state we come in the state of your house but shimmy our shy as his mouthpiece he's speaking through us right you, you see us but really and truly you're supposed to see your how about shimmy our shy right it says verse 4 um, then whosoever hear the sound of the trumpet and take it not warning if the sword come and take him away his blood shall be upon his own head verse 5 he heard he heard the sound of the trumpet and took not warning his blood shall be upon him but he that take it warning shall deliver his soul right he that take it warning shall deliver his soul and also we will deliver our own souls right this uh, I'm going back on to what I said concerning um concerning what you when you see us you see you should see Yahweh but shimmy out shine this is the scripture to back that up this is verse 7 it says so that this thou O son of man I have set thee a watchman unto the house of Israel what does a watchman do a watchman sees he watches he looks out for the danger and for the trouble and and we give warning we sound that alarm we create that still we wake you up we make it unknown right of the um, impending danger right it says therefore thou shalt hear the word at my mouth and warn them from me you see so we warning you from your our worship your shy. we're not warning you from our own mouths we warning you you should be seeing that the lord is showing you mercy is telling you that that danger is at hand but you know what two-thirds of these people are blinded because and, and the world overall has they have they, their minds far from me how much they they don't consider that there's a power of heaven and earth they started doing their own thing going after their own way day in and day out they don't they, they do not believe and trust in how much they do not believe that there's a heavenly power right they see him not neither they know him right but according to john but we know him john 14 right the spirit of truth is speaking and manifesting unto you that this is what is going on that destruction famine and pestilence is about to hit the land right repent turn back right um we're going back to um going back to verse um 17 and 18 in, in Ezekiel 3 when I say unto the wicked Thou shalt surely die. Thou givest him not warning, nor speakest to warn the wicked from his wicked way to save his life. The same wicked man shall die in his iniquity, but his blood will I require thine hand. Yet if thou warn the wicked, and he turn not from his wickedness, nor, nor from his wicked way, he shall die in his iniquity, but thou hast delivered thy soul. So you see, we will be justified. Again, um, well, yeah, that's, that is it. Right? That, I think that's yeah that's it right there considering that warning let me see if i get a scripture in exodus chapter 18 verse 20 this is what it says thou shalt teach them so this so besides us giving you the one we're supposed to show you the way to the, the way towards our righteousness right so we say repent repent the kingdom of heaven is at hand but what is repentance to turn back turn back to to the faith of your worship me or shy that's what the law statutes and commandments is so this is what we do exodus 18 and 20 and thou shalt teach them the ordinances and the laws and shall show them the way wherein they must walk and the work that they must do and the work is what to come out here on the highways and byways to teach to call out to israel to condemn israel to set them back into their righteousness right to do these epistles to speak to the brothers to exhort the brothers and to wake up the elect across the four corners of the earth that is the work that we must do right 
So with that, I pray that the lesson was edifying. I give all praises to how about Shimmy or Shai. I belong to the apostles and the other salutations to the brothers that preach and teach his word in sincerity and in truth. Right? On um, um, stay strong as well, you know, enjoy to the end. Have that patience and pray and ask you about Shimmy or Shai for the strength for the Akiam and for your families. We enjoy to the end. Shalom.